Hello, this is Priscilla Batzel. I'm in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Fluid Art Studio. This is a 12 inch round canvas. I'm an OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. You can find on my Amazon link underneath the description or under the video in the description. This is Amsterdam white paint and it's got f regular Floetrol and GAC 800 in it. And usually I would use Artist Loft and pre-prime the canvas so things would slide easier, but I don't think that this is a bad idea. I want enough moist paint on the canvas before I add the puddle to the center that I'm going to add my colors into and then swipe out so that everything is going to slide if it wants to. I don't really much care about the edges right now. And I'm only just trying to knock the paint off. I'm going to throw that in the bucket and I'm going to need another one. So let's put something like a layer that's not too heavy but wide enough so I can put colors all over it. Now what people usually do, in my opinion, is blow these out and maybe I should be trying that at some point in time, but it's never made me as happy as I want it to. So I'm going to use light and bright colors, I think. Um, starting with what? Starting with, what do I have? French silk, which seems to be somewhat open, but not as open as I wish it were. I want some white showing through and it's off-white it's iridescent I don't think I can have too much of it but it's not coming out very easily so we're not going to worry about that then I have some frostbite Periwinkle frostbite is a primary uh, prism prism pore, same as French silk. Uh, periwinkle is a vivid, intense fluorescent. I'm not sure. I'm not trying to be consistent with my colors, but I'm still managing to be fairly consistent. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to avoid things looking all the same. This is plum blossom. This is a primary element. This is getting the top taken off. I don't know how any of this is going to work. That probably needs to be cleaned out. I'm going to use some Fuchsia Vivid Intense. I don't think I can get enough fuchsia. Fuchsia and jasmine remind me of each other. And I'm going to give myself some shiny taffeta. And it's looking like I'm getting close to enough paint. I'm going to use some vivid, intense fluorescent pink. Frosted Berry, which is basically to add to the paint color and maybe make some cells. I'm trying to resist orange and it's not working, but I am going to use the Jasmine, which is a primary element. For some reason I'm being called to blue and I'm going to try and resist, but I'm not going to resist the orange. And I think my whole idea of not being symmetrical is gone. What have I got? I have Rhapsody Rose, which is very red and might be the dark color I'm looking for to make everything else pop.
instead of blue. Now let's hope I have some elbow room. Do you know what I need to do? I don't really have an edge catcher. Oh, I have colors in my dish. I have beautiful colors in my dish. And I am going to use them up, if at all possible. And I know that was sour lemon with orange crush and saffron and all the rest were the same colors I'm using now. I'm going to put this away in the bucket. Use a palette knife to get the rest of that off of there. Throw that in the bucket. Grab a brand new playing card. I hope. I got out a few. I'm not sure where they go when I look for them. They're just gone. I've got Boom Gel in Pearlescent Violet. And I have no idea what I'm doing. I kind of want to do one of my one of my acetate tools. Maybe I will. There's the pearlescent violet, and I'm going to add some Amsterdam white. Looks like I got a lot of color on there. And the one thing I know is I don't want to go through it too many times. That makes me want the uh, Boom Gel Pearlescent Teal. And I'll use a little less this time. I'm still going to use the white. I'm not seeing any cells, but that doesn't mean they won't come up. And it doesn't mean that I can't just change horses in midstream. And start with the white instead of a color. I think I could tip that and make it incredibly pretty without doing anything else to it. Let's throw that in the bucket and try the playing card because I know there's more paint on there than I know what to do with. I found the original one. I'm going to go with black cell activator this time. There's nothing to lose. TMP again. I got overzealous with the paint. The black cell activator is dynamic. And there's my old card. I'm going to go for just the two, uh, excuse me, the acetate tool and some white cell activator. Then I might do white and gold. Pretty interesting designs. I do like wiping my tools off on the edge of the canvas. I'm so not done with the um, the black. The black is the bomb. But I'm not going to use those those again. I will use, and I have my spatula. You know what? I'm going to use one of my conventional spatulas. That makes me feel. Maybe the small one? Yeah, I think the small one's going to go better than anything. I want to put some yellow in there. Why am I being called to yellow? I don't know. I like the sour lemon that I see. But I am getting somewhat a nice assortment of the lighter colors that I was looking for. What 
can I do with things I don't like? I can actually put a skewer in there. I don't want to drain any paint off of this. I like that white. I don't think I can keep it. Especially now, not, not now that I filled it in. I'm going to try this, the gold cell activator. Probably with, whoops, that was a lot, with the black. I gotta remember that I like what I leave behind when the colors don't all get swiped. I like those colors too. This will be a test for the GAC 800, I'll tell you what. But I think it'll be pretty. And I really should be willing to tip. If I tip, I'm gonna have to do it onto something and I'm not sure what that something's gonna be. I've got one more acetate tool and I'm thinking I need to put it right in there. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm really not sure. I haven't done any straight gold. Nor am I certain how it'll work out. I know it works with the black. I don't think I can keep any of this over here, i.e. the negative space. So I will just fill it in. Throw that in the bucket. So maybe tomorrow's the day I clean my silicone mat. Or maybe I pour into something. As I can. I like the color of the boom gel. I'm not sure I want to see anything go. I'm really tempted to just leave it all and let it dry and see how it works out in spite of the fact that it's really heavy. You know what? I'm going to do that because I think this is gorgeous just the way it is. I'm probably going to put a skewer in there. Put a few spirals in places. And if it crazes, it'll be understandable, honestly. I got a little teeny tiny bit of white negative space left. trying to put the spirals where they look like they should naturally go. This over here a gap that doesn't need to stay, I don't think. So we'll just fill that in with a spiral. That's really pretty. I'm going to take this black and use it. Several different ways. Because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link is next to my second book on the Amazon link. And the Amazon link is on the link tree underneath Show More under the video in the description. And there you will find all kinds of other things, like a couple of my websites. 
That's cool. That was a gap. Now it's got a little spiral in it. That's neat. Got a few things dripping over on. Yeah, the colors are just tremendous. Do I have any paint left anywhere? I can take this paint, put it right there. That gap. I did pre prime the canvas white, so I could have left my gaps, but I'm not sure how that would work. Pretty cells. All right, I'm calling it. <laughs> I'm, I'm just not interested in messing with it anymore. It's a pretty orb and, uh, it's all it needs to be in my opinion. And we'll find out if I used too much paint or not, and chances are I did. But I got lighter colors that I wanted, and I love what the white does. I haven't used nearly enough white cell activator to... Uh, it helps if I'm not videoing. <laughs> That's funny. I turned on the wrong app. Can I actually see anything? very shimmery. It's kind of fun. I was thinking about doing um, something celestial when I started to contemplate working with the round. So I guess tomorrow I better paint another one and contemplate that. I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. When you share my videos, you help me out. When you watch longer, you help me out. My paint pouring recipe is below. Show more. My email address will get you my attention. It's E-A-S-P-B in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I do sell my artwork and I give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Did I say? I think I said my Amazon link has my two books on it. If you shop there, it's at no matter cost to you. The two books are Because I Can and Unlimited Possibilities. The first and the second hundred videos I made for YouTube. I have 31 playlists. Wow. 31 playlists and everything is also organized by topic and genre. So if you like a topic or a genre, just let me know and I'll give you a playlist. Questions are welcome and encouraged. My community board will show you tomorrow's video at 2.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time most days. Unless I've changed that. Uh, you can never tell. Anyway, so I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Probably said that twice. I love you. You inspire me always. I'll see you anon. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida again saying bye for now. Priscilla out. <laughs>